Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to demonstrate UART serial communication transmission process by writing the relevant scripts in MicroPython on Tony ID for Node MCU. Let's get started. So this is the Tony ID. I am just going to create a new file by clicking on this icon or Ctrl plus N in my Tony ID. And after creating a new file, I am just going to save this. This computer. Moving to the folder where I want the files to be stored. You what TX. So make sure it is saved in .py python format. And as you can see on the screen, this is the node MCU development board. And we have two UART ports. One is UART0 and another one is UART1. And the UART0 is connected to this particular micro USB connector and we can utilize that particular UART0 and UART1 we have only TX pin. So if you want to configure UART1 you cannot simulate the reception process in UART and also you cannot visualize the reception process even in this particular UART0 because this particular UART in the USB connector is connected to the REPL port of the MicroPython uh, Tony IDE. So we have a cell right over here, right? So this cell is connected to the REPL port and we are also loading the program to the bootloader using the uh, same USB connector using the UART port. So you cannot detach that but you can simulate the transmission process only with the help of uh, developing the relevant Python scripts. So that we are going to do right over here in this particular video. So this is just demonstration video and if you really want to use an UART port in ESP8266 you cannot use this node MCU development board instead you can take out the ESP8266 into a custom made board and you can take the port pins respectively for communicating with the UART1 or UART0 as per your requirement. So for now we are just going to demonstrate the UART0 transmission process. So I am just going to import the UART module from mission module and also I am just going to import U time for producing rough delays in my program and I am just going to declare a variable called UART for initializing the UART 0 communication with 115200 baud rate. So you cannot directly provide a value like this instead you just want to provide like this baud rate is equal to double one five two double zero and inside the infinite loop i'm just going to provide a delay of two seconds that is 2000 millisecond and i'm going to write to the uart port with the instance write so sm training academy so i'm just going to write this particular string onto the uart port at an interval of at an interval of 2 seconds that is 2000 millisecond since these two are written inside the while of true or infinite loop this process continues until the program is stopped in the tony ide i'm just saving the script and this particular transmission happens in this particular cell since uh, the UART terminal is connected to the micro USB cable and it is connected to the PC through micro USB cable to the PC. I am going to run this script by clicking on this particular icon. You don't need any schematic to be built in the breadboard. You can directly connect the node MCU to the PC through micro USB cable. That's enough for demonstrating this particular program. I am just going to run this by clicking on this particular icon or F5 in my keyboard and the output is this one you can clearly see i'm getting sm training academy printed at an interval of two seconds so it is continuously printing because i have not given any new line command so what i will do is i will just give backslash n at the end of this string and saving and running the script now you can see the sm training academy string has been passed from the uart port of the soc esp8266 double six continuously at an interval of two seconds and it is printed on the cell 
so i hope you learned something new in this particular video for demonstrating uart transmission in esp8266 see you in the next video thanks for watching